An excellent day everyone! Are you excited to our learning adventure for today? I am Teacher Ryan Ramirez and I will guide you in every step of the way. Are you ready? Very good! And I'm also excited to teach you right now. So get ready with your ball pen, paper, and self-learning module in English 4. Today, I will help you to enhance your knowledge through different meaningful activities which will help you to accomplish our learning competency for this week. For this lesson, we will be able to identify the main topic, the key sentence, and the supporting details from text listen to. This time, let's try our first activity. Natural calamities like typhoon, flood, and landslides pose a great damage to the people all over the country. It has posed a big problem to the education sector in terms of damaged school properties, disruption of normal teaching learning activities. Most of all, it has caused loss of innocent lives of school children. Again, natural calamities like typhoon, flood, and landslides pose a great damage to the people all over the country. It has posed a big problem to the education sector in terms of damaged school properties, disruption of normal teaching learning activities. Most of all, it has caused loss of innocent lives of school children. Number 1. What does the selection tell? A. It is all about natural calamities. B. The damaged property or C. It is about the typhoon's effect. What's your answer? Correct! The answer is letter A. For question number 2, where is the key sentence in the paragraph? A. At the beginning B. At the middle or C at the end? What's your answer? Very good, kids. The answer is letter A. For question number three, what is the key sentence in the selection? A. Most of all, it has caused loss of innocent lives of school children. Letter B. Natural calamities like typhoon, flood, and landslides pose a great damage to the people all over the country. Or letter C. It has posed a big problem to the education sector in terms of damaged school properties, disruption of normal teaching learning activities. What's your answer, kids? Very good! The answer is letter B. So let's proceed to number 4. The following are the supporting details in the paragraph except 1. A. Most of all, it has caused loss of innocent lives of school children. Letter B. It has posed a big problem to the education sector in terms of damaged school properties, disruption of normal teaching learning activities, or letter C. It shows the compassion and perseverance of the Filipino. What's your answer? Very good! The answer is letter C. For question number 5, where can we find the main idea? A. In the sentences B. In the key sentence Or C. 
in the paragraph or selection? What's the answer? Very good. The answer is letter B. Very good, kids. Did you able to answer all the questions correctly? If yes, that's great. It means you are ready to our new lesson. If no, it's just alright, kids. You will learn more as we go along with this lesson. Are you fun of listening a story? If yes, that would be great. Do you have pet in your home? What kind of pet do you have? What is its name? Wow! Okay! This time, I will read a selection about the dog named Hope. I hope you will listen to me attentively because I have questions for you. Let us study. My dog, Hope, is the best dog in the world. She always comes when I call her. She loves to swim and go hiking with me. Best of all, Hope is there for me if I am having a bad day or feeling sad. Hope is my best friend and I always count on her. I will read the story again. My dog, Hope, is the best dog in the world. She always comes when I call her. She loves to swim and go hiking with me. Best of all, Hope is there for me if I am having a bad day or feeling sad. Hope is my best friend and I always count on her. Answer the following questions based from the short selection. For question number one, what is the topic of the selection all about? Again, what is the topic of the selection all about? What's the answer, kids? Mm -hmm. Very good. The answer or the topic is about hope. How can we identify the topic? First, we need to know what is the topic all about. And when we say topic, it refers to a person, a place, thing, animals, or idea being written or talked about. Question number two. What supports to the topic hope? Again, what supports to the topic hope? Now, let's read the selection again in order for you to really understand the selection. My dog hope is the best dog in the world. She always comes when I call her. She loves to swim and go hiking with me. Best of all, hope is there for me if I am having a bad day or feeling sad. Hope is my best friend and I always count on her. So, what supports to the topic hope? Again, what supports to the topic hope? We have, she always comes when I call her. Another, she loves to swim and go hiking with me. And then, best of all, hope is there for me if I am having a bad day or feeling sad. Hope is my best friend and I always count on her. These sentences are what we call the supporting details. When we say supporting details, provide an information, explain, or define the main idea. For question number three, 
what is the main idea? Now, it is easy to say that my dog Hope is the best dog in the world. It is our main idea. When we say main idea, is the most important thought about the topic. So every sentence of the paragraph talks about the good qualities of hope. The supporting details explain why hope is the best dog in the world. Number four, what is the key sentence? Again, what is the key sentence? Let's go to the selection. My dog Hope is the best dog in the world. That would be our key sentence. When we say key sentence, where you can find the main idea. And key sentence can be found at the beginning, middle, or end of the paragraph. And for this selection, our key sentence can be found at the beginning of the sentence. Yes. Is it easy to identify the main idea, the key sentence, and the supporting details? Wow, that's good! So, let's have another example. Mario was dirty, wet, and cold. The rain poured down from the dreary sky. Mario was having a terrible day. He woke up late. Then he missed the school bus. He tried to ride his bike to school, but he hit a bump, lost control, and fell in a mud puddle. Mario began to cry all day. Again, Mario was dirty, wet, and cold. The rain poured down from the dreary sky. Mario was having a terrible day. He woke up late, then he missed the school bus. He tried to ride his bike to school, but he hit a bump lost control, and fell in a mud puddle. Mario began to cry all day. What is the topic all about? Again, what is the topic all about? What's the answer? Very good. The topic is about Mario. Again, the first thing to do is to find the topic. How can we find the topic? First, we need to know the topic itself. And what can you say about the topic? Or what is topic? When we say topic, it refers to what person, place, thing, or idea being written or talked about. What supports to the topic Mario? Again, what supports to the topic Mario? Mario was dirty, wet, and cold. He ran poured down from the dreary sky. He woke up late. Then, he missed the school bus tried to ride his bike to school, but he hit a bump, lost control, and fell in a mud puddle. Lastly, Mario began to cry all day. These words or sentences are what we call supporting details. When we say supporting details, additional information, explain, define, or prove the main idea. For question number three, what is the main idea? Again, what is the main idea? Now, 
we can say that Mario was having a terrible day is our main idea. When we say main idea, it is the most important thought about the topic. Every sentence of the paragraph talks about what happened to Mario. These are what we call supporting details that explains why Mario was having a terrible day. Number four, what is our key sentence? Our key sentence is Mario was having a terrible day. When we say key sentence, where you can find the main idea. Mario was dirty, wet, and cold. The rain poured down from the dreary sky. Then he missed the school bus. Mario began to cry all day. He woke up late. She tried to ride his bike to school, but he hit a bump, lost control, and fell in a mud puddle. And lastly, Mario was having a terrible day. Our key sentence found at the middle of the paragraph. In a paragraph or selection, there is usually a key sentence or topic sentence that gives the main idea of the paragraph. This key sentence may either be at the beginning, at the middle, or at the end. Now that you know already how to identify the main idea, the key sentence, and supporting details in a particular reading selection, let's answer this activity. Good luck! Listen to the following selection and answer the questions that follow. Nature is all around us. It is in the fresh air we breathe, in the green grass spread under our feet, and in the blue sky above. It is in the flowers that bloom today and die tomorrow. Nature breaks to us in the rain and in the sunshine. It tells us that it is good to be alive. Again, nature is all around us. It is in the fresh air we breathe, in the green grass spread under our feet, and in the blue sky above. It is in the flowers that bloom today and die tomorrow. Nature breaks us in the rain and in the sunshine. It tells us that it is good to be alive. What is the main idea of the selection? Again, what is the main idea of the selection? A. Nature is all around us. B. It is in the flowers that bloom today. Or C. Nature that speaks to us in the rain and the sunshine. What's the answer? Very good. The answer is letter A. Number two, which sentence gives the main topic of the selection? Again, which sentence gives the main topic of the selection? A. Sentence number two. B. Sentence number four. Or C. Sentence number one. What's the answer? Exactly. Letter C. For number 3, what nature gives to the human? Again, what nature gives to the human? A. It gives fresh air that we breathe. B. It helps living things to bloom like the flowers. Or letter C. All of the above. Good job! The answer is letter C. Number 4. The key sentence in the paragraph can be found at the blank. Again, the key sentence in the paragraph can be found at blank. A. Ending B. 
middle or C beginning mm -hmm. very good the answer is letter C beginning last number number five what is the most appropriate title for the selection again for number five what is the most appropriate title for the selection a the world of nature b man and life c a good environment mm -hmm. what's the answer that's good the answer is letter a did you get all the answers correctly class if yes I will give you five checks and you may now proceed to the next module. If you have two mistakes, answer the next activity before proceeding to the next module. For your assignment, turn your self-learning module on page 11. That's it for today. This is Ryan F. Ramirez. Just remember, by merely reading and listening, you can explore everything. See you and mabuhay!